everyone. I have some fresh nuggets here. Um, they assured me they are very fresh. They sound Black very fresh. Uh, we will see. But if you want to see, um, when I open uh, these uh, family boxes up, please. Uh, hey, I'm working here. Look. Look. Okay. I have to go. I'm hungry. Watch out, for, watch out for the said hill. Um, you saw videos on this of me falling already. So I'm gonna try, try the pair without the cleats and see. I think the chickens were saying, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, I turn these off just for now so I can get in there, but here is my app. Um, turn them on and turn them off. But uh, I got a temperature gauge in there. There is a, let me, uh, let me put these girls in here and then I'll talk to you a little bit so it can stay a little warm. Put them in there for now to, to stay a little warm and uh, what I'm going to do now is get the water out here the, the, the feeders out here um, I have some vitamins and stuff some like shock uh, for them to be stressed out being um, handled like this not know what's going on uh, they are they ship out at like one day old and they have enough food in them for three days uh, and that's just how the um, uh, nature uh, mother nature uh, does uh, but they're they get enough food in them for three days so when they're born, they're, they're able to ship them, but you have to pick them up promptly. Um, I got an email and I went 20 minutes later. Uh, well, probably 18. Let's, let's get that correct. Uh, I know it's 18 minutes too long for some of you people. That's what she said. Um, but I'm going to uh, get that situated then let them out. I don't want to let them out and then try to get the feeder and the waterer in there and everything. Um, but I will, uh, I will bring you along with me and you'll see step by step how I set, uh, set it up with this. Not much to do. Already got the um, shavings and stuff down. Let me show you that real quick. Water in the food. They might be a little hungry. So there's a light, one light there and one light there. They're, they're pointed that way and that way. So if they want to cool off, they can come to this location here. Um, I have this for the raccoons and the bears and uh, the T-Rexes. But I do have pine shavings all down here, all the way throughout the entire I did put boxes down here. So I'm putting those at the bottom so when I clean them out, they'll be easier to clean. Um, but I have a sensor right here. This is a temperature sensor, so when I'm inside or all over the world, I'll know what degrees it is on this side of the box and what degrees on this side of the box. I have another one against that wall right there so that reads on my phone and I'll show you that right now before I go get the water okay 
okay this is sensor two that's the coupe this is the coupe um, but this is sensor one which would be the one on this side sensor three is the one on this side um, it's showing only 65 degrees I just turned that lamp on uh, but we will um, we will see how hot it gets uh, but it, it will start climbing here shortly um, you don't want to get too hot so every every two hours I got to set to check these uh, temperatures in here so every two hours I'm gonna be waking up for the, the first week uh, you want these are like 90 to 95 degrees up top and like maybe 85 degrees uh, at the bottom uh, so uh, not much sleep for for a week at least and then it, it kind of get half I get double I'll check them like instead of every two hours I check them every four hours the second week then every six hours for the third week uh, maybe at least four times a day on the fourth week and then they'll be out there in the uh, the big coop out there so, okay let me go with the waters be right back Okay, folks back with the water um, I put some electrolytes and, and vitamins in here it's got electrolytes not too much um, not too little uh, just the right amount of electrolytes and vitamins uh, you don't want to do too much it's bad if you want too less it's bad because they need vitamins um, uh, for the shock and everything that, that's what people say okay they know what chickens uh, they know what chickens I uh, think like just like people with fish you know fish are going to be fishing like they're going to be by the columns okay they're going to hang out by the columns that's where you catch them at well they know about chickens too so i'm just going to go with what they know of they the those people huh. what do you mean you people what do you mean you people huh I um this lip i'm gonna get a close-up this lip is too big they will drown in this uh see how big this is they will get stuck and drown in there uh so i put a rock that comes up to about about here because that's too high for them to jump on so they gotta jump on a rock and then sip out of here but I have these rocks to fill the void which I'm gonna try to do uh, one-handed here what she said so all you do is do that like so all the way around so they only have that much space and then they're really less likely to drown unless they're really trying to get it over with. Uh, but that's that. I just unplug this, water stay in there. Um, I, will, I will take this out. I probably won't leave that in there the whole seven days. What you want to feed them vitamins for seven days-ish. Uh, hey, I'm, talk I'm talking here. But uh, I'll probably just wait two days and, and dump the water no matter how much is in there. Uh, I'm going to finish with the rocks. I have two feeders here. One's going to go on each side. Uh, so I'll, feed, I'll fill it up to here and down to here. But they like to, when they get old enough, they like to jump on top of here and poop all inside of there. So I built these NASA approved uh, tops for these. Uh, these are from Folger. Hey, shut. Shh, shut up. Okay. I built these from Folger cans, okay? So all they do, and it's difficult to do this with one hand but I'm, I'm determined okay there we go so when they sit on top there we go they can sit on top without pooping inside of there they might get here but I can dump that out uh, but there you go I'm not going to show you what brand of food I use what brand of uh, uh, vitamins I use I don't want anybody to use them and they die and they say hey you shouldn't have told me you figure out what best you figure out what best for you for your chickens what you should do i don't want to be a part of anything happening um no foul play <laughs> see what i did there um i am going to be putting a tarp i'm going to be putting a tarp over it this is a smaller tarp this is the smallest tarp i have and it's going to be the only last one i do have these in 20 foot by 30 foot uh they're on my um my website doug garbage disposal store.com if you look under goods and other stuff, this is categorized as other stuff. So I did, I do have a whole pallet of these. I probably have 40 or 50. I do have them at a reasonable price on the site if you want to uh, get a real big heavy duty tarp. Um, this is eight mil and I do want to tell you, they do have he heavy duty like 12 mil or whatever, but these are eight mil, they're, they're good. They, uh, they've been on this uh, she shed for about a year and a half 
because I didn't do the roof yet and it has not leaked one time. So um, they are pretty good. I have another one over there. You can't see it because my figure's in the way. Not the brown one on the, on the boat because that's still uh, good. I'm about to take that down and put another one up. But there's a silver one over there on pallets. Uh, then I have another one on the other boat. So they do, they do work well. This is just uh, an old one I had from uh, my other uh, house that was in the shed. So that's about to come down later and get another one. That's just to block the wind from the, for the chickens in here when I had the brooder for the first batch of lovely loud chickens. Okay, let me get this in there. Then I will open this up and show you exactly what the chickens uh, uh, look like. I'm not, I'm not gonna know exactly what breed um, because when they're younger, they're harder to uh to figure out but they did label them hopefully they're sectioned off into sections like four in this side four in that side just like there's uh two sides in there hopefully there's two and two and i can kind of figure them out for you so let me get this in and let's uh check what the chicks look like I did build this up too. I put a rock underneath. I'm going to put a rock in front of it um, because uh, if you keep it down on the ground, all these will be in the water and you're going to have to clean them up a whole lot. Uh, and then there's poop and stuff in here as well. So you want to, uh, well, not right now, but you want to uh, get as less poop in your water as possible. I know when you're drinking water, you try to get less poop in there. I mean, that's just a, just a gimme in my house. But you, you do what you want in yours, okay? I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but that's just that. For now, I think I'm putting one of these and not two so they can gunk up. I don't want to gunk up two right now. I'm going to I'm gonna see for the first day how much this uh, evaporates, and then we'll take it from there. And I will, mon I will monitor, monitor them um, when they first get out here to see if they can reach the food. I think it might be a lot of pine shavings in here, um, but hey, I like to pamper them. Put the lid on here and get to uh, getting these chickens out so you can see them. Okay, here we go. Um, these are three different breeds. We have white leghorn female. Those lays, those are some the littlest white birds I've had that laid the biggest freaking eggs. Um, white leghorn female. 
Um, we got 20 New Hampshire red females and 10 Delaware females. Okay. I'm going to cut this and then I will grab the camera and get you a close up. Sorry, I'm walking around in mud in here. Sorry. Just uh, had got a lot of rain last night. Okay. Big reveal. I'm not sure that the leghorn and the Delaware I know these ones here you can't tell with the light too great um, but um, these are the New Hampshire reds there's 20 of them and then there's 10 of each of the uh, the longhorn and the Delaware oh there they go the, these are the Delaware females this one wants to get out early come on don't hurt yourself you hurt you get on top of everybody else there we go get down there be the first one down there the first um delaware female you don't want to go nowhere come on get down there you go um and these are the new hampshire chickens we got 20 of those they lay a lot of big eggs too and these are the leghorns that look looks oh looks similar come on looks similar to the the um delaware look they look about the same so okay let's uh get the rest out of here and i'll tilt them over just barely come on i'll just scoop you guys up you ladies i'm gonna say guys a lot okay but i mean ladies okay let me put this back on here so i can get two hands you know them, you know, you know that's what they say. There we go. But you are close, ain't you? You did you haven't uh you haven't got away from each other. They are running around. Look at these. Free, free, bumblebee. They are running. Okay, they're, they're only a day old. They can run good. Come on. I'm going to let you out with the rest of them. Here's all your friends. I'll probably put a video in here of the chickens later of just uh, maybe a live feed. Back in the corner, huh? I'm back in the corner, ain't you? Get a good close up. Look at you. Yeah. Get on one of these. Okay. All right. Get you guys scampering around while I get the other ones ready. Got some nosy, nosy chickens. No, you're not going to get to them. Jealous, I'm gonna get them out. Oh, we got a runt right here. She's a runt. She's running a little slower than the rest, but we'll, we'll check on all the runts. 
You can tell because they're not as quick moving. You want to check for deformalities for beaks and such. Um, I missed uh, Tulip, so I'm not sure what happened with her. I didn't check her too closely, I guess. But Tulips is one of the bigger chickens. She's living and she's doing great, but um, she's just a special chicken. Okay, let me get the other ones out and I'll be right back. Okay, it's big box time. Hopefully all these stay over there. Come on now. You was all over there now. Now you want to come over here. I don't want to crush any of you. Uh, come on. I want to be for sure there's nothing over here. Jesus. Oh, I don't want to set this down all the way. Okay. Oh, two up. Oh, Jesus. Okay. This is going to be difficult. Scoop. Scoop. Okay. Now I'm confident. Now you're off. You're not in the view. There we go. Really, um, really wanting to see what these Sussex ones look like. Uh, they're a breed that looks really pretty when they grow up. Uh, some, some, some of these chicks, guys, are going to just be ugly chicklings in about two weeks, three weeks. They're going to look pretty ugly, and then they start looking prettier. But um, they don't have these stickered out. I know. Uh, Let's just go with these. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing under here. Because I'm, I'm still. Come on, chickens. Okay, they're good. Um, okay, these say 10 Americana. Uh, that is the Easter egg ones that lay the green and blue eggs. Um, we have 10 Buckeye Blue. Uh, on belly, so I guess there should be blue on the belly. Let's go to that one first These are The Buckeye blue I don't see any blue on the belly, but these should be the Buckeye blues Okay, get in there with the rest of them um, And I'm thinking these should be the Americana Or that might be, you know what? These might be the Easter egg ones. I'm not really sure, guys. If you have chickens, please let me know right now. Uh, but I know when they get bigger, what they look like. But when they're younger, uh, they look a little different. Like this one, I think, would be a Americana because a Puffy out there is a grayish. So I'm thinking these might be it. But that's those. Uh, we're going to go with the 20 of the um, Rhode Island Red. They're good egg layers too. So these are, I got 20 of these. Uh, we're gonna go with, huh. This is R.I. Red and this is Prod Red. But this Susex, 10 of the product, I guess product red and the Susex. I'm not sure what's what. These look like the other ones I pulled out. These look like the Buckeye Blues, but so we're not going to know until they get bigger, unless you know it all and you can tell me in comments. Because these are the road, the red productions right here. They are hybrid that lay big eggs. And these are the 20 Buff Orpingtons. They're going to mingle with the rest of them. I'm not going to know exactly what kind they are. I know these and these are the same. Uh, those are the Leghorn and the. Uh, uh, what's the other name for them? Delaware. Okay, well, that is all of them. Um, I'm going to get these the rest of them out, put them on this for you, and they will get tarp 
left over to stay warm. And I'll probably come back and check on them with you guys um, for the first, you know, for this video. About two or three times. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do this because it'll be easier to get you get ladies out. Okay. Okay. Big nugget box. Lots of nuggets. I'm gonna get Jeff Swartz over here to help me out, hopefully with the uh, um, the coop to get it ready. But he said he would really enjoy doing that, so we will do that later. Probably another another week. Probably the, a week. Cause I want to get ready for these these ladies out of here. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of here. No? Okay. okay. They're all trying to get under that lamp. You see right there in that huddle? They're trying to stay warm because that lamp's pointing that way. So let me uh, hurry up and get the rest of these ladies in here. I'll give you a last shot before I close it up. Okay, here's all 120 of them. Run around like little mice. They're happy. They are very happy. They got their wings um, like pushed up and they run some of them. Okay, ladies. This one here. This one here is a little sluggish too. Can't walk correctly. I'm going to try to keep up. Oh, whoa. Surprised the heck out of me. That one just ran like crazy. Okay. They're already getting water in there. Drinking water. So that's good. What well, what chickens do, one shows the other how to do it. Because they wasn't even over here. But there was one that got water. Then all of them uh, searched around how to get the water. So they are uh, they're doing that. There's no water on this side because it's not as level. Uh... I'm going to try to level it out a little better to put the water over there. So I'm going to do that before I get out of here. Cover it up. Um, I'll show you me covering it up. And then um, we're going to uh, see you later when we check uh, check on the chickens. Before I forget, I got a little spin wheel here. I'm waiting for them to get a little few days older. And maybe they might want to play in that. Who knows? The other ones didn't, but maybe these are circus uh, chicks. I don't know if you see it, but I put this over here just to raise it up so the heat lamp doesn't touch this fabric here. This is metal, but this is like a, a deer fencing type thing. A geo grid so I didn't want to burn so that helped out with that I'll check the temperature here in a second before I leave and again I'm trying to get about 90 to 95 degrees up top and about 85 and 90 at the bottom. So, and I will leave a gap here. Um, whoo, that's what she says. Leave a gap here on the corners to let some of the extra heat out so it doesn't get too hot. Then we'll really have chicken nuggets. Here, I'm 
I'm not going to put it by the wind over there. I'm going to put it on the inside corner over here and the inside corner over there because the, the tarp goes. The tarp is right here, so I'm putting it, the gap there. I'm putting the gap here since the outside is over there. check the, uh, the temperature and I'm, I'm gonna check this probably every 30 minutes I'm gonna keep a close eye on it because if it gets too hot I'm gonna have to take uh, more of this and uh, put it to the side we got let's see we got the temperature right here uh, the coop is 65 degrees um, inside here is 72 and 69 towards the bottom. So the temperatures should be around 85. Um, we're going to keep a close monitor on this. Um, as you watching this, they might go up a little bit on, on, on your left side of the screen here. Um, but I just put the tarp on them. So I'm going to uh, make sure, uh, put a timer on um, for every 30 minutes just to make sure that the temperature is correct for these ladies. And... Uh, Take it from there. It shows you all kind of stuff humidity uh, dew point all this mess that you don't really know unless you're fishing You need to know the barometer and and such So, okay This already went up a point one point one. So all right. We'll see you guys uh, see You guys back here in a bit um, I didn't even expect these chickens to come today. They're supposed to come tomorrow and Two days later, I was supposed to get two different matches, but they came today. I'm glad I'm not a last of a minute person. Um, I had everything pretty much ready to go. So that was a good thing. I'm going to go in and edit a video. Not this one, though. I'm editing a B video. So you're going to see a B video. Well, that's already out. If you've seen this video, that B video is already out. Uh, you probably see pictures on my page of these chickens here, uh, these little chicks here. But uh, I'll be out back out here a couple times with you guys again uh, for the temperature and uh, to chat with you one last time before I wrap this video up. Hey, back out here. Um, I have it regulated now at about 85 in the back and 81 in the front. Um, this has been going on for two hours now, so it is uh, pretty good. I'm going to have to watch it a little closer at night. Um, I'm going to put the cover over the whole deal probably and um, have to watch it again. But uh, just the different temperatures outside, um, and, and I know right now with the temperature outside that this is good uh, for now, but when the, it's dropping 20, 30 degrees, um, you're going to have to recalculate it i write it down if you write it down you won't have to think of it as much so whatever the temperature is right now outside um this is uh comfortable for that and then if it drops to 50 something tonight then i'll have to see if uh it is still good with it covered all the way up uh, let's check on them physically and see how they're doing and then call it a wrap but uh, this is Outdoors Unsupervised. Uh, my name is Brandon Clark. Uh, please subscribe to my other channel, Doug Garbage Disposal, if you like food reviews, food challenges, uh, cooking inside, and um, you're in for the $500 giveaway if you are on both channels. Uh, once I reach five, uh, well, no. <laughs> Once I reach 1,000, once I reach 100,000 subscribers on that channel, I'm giving away $500 three months after I reach 100,000. Um, so if you're subscribed to both channel channels, ooh, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Both channels, you are in. Okay, let's see the chicks and wrap this up. Nice and toasty in there. And I have a GoPro. I'm doing a uh, just a chicken feed. If you want to see chicken videos, I'll have a chicken video of just that.
I'm not sure how long that uh, recorded. It probably shut off on me already. Probably about 30 minutes or so. Everybody okay? Everybody standing up? This one looks a little weak right here. Her, uh, it's not good. Her head is uh, bowing. Um, she's trying to keep her head up, so I'm going to have to watch her. Um, I'm going to get her and probably take her inside. Uh, the rest of them are looking good. Let me see if I see any more that's not uh, doing well. Okay, I'm going to put this camera down and uh, closely monitor all the rest of them, but this one right here I'm going to have to uh, to put inside. Hopefully she makes it. Um, she's still standing up, but I can tell she's not that great. I'm going to see if I can feed her some water. Okay. Um, that note, uh, when you see this video, please comment about, uh, let's call her Drew, uh, I don't know what to call her. Um, I don't know. I really don't know what to call her. Uh, sick? Sue Ann? Maybe Sue Ann. I don't know. Uh, just Sue, okay? Uh, I will uh, get her now, but comment below to see how Sue, um, if she made it or not. Hopefully she did, um, but I'm going to put this phone down and take care of Sue, and I will uh, talk to you later. So thanks again for watching the video. I appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, share the video with your friends, family, even your boss. Oh, uh, shit! I'm talking! doesn't help it makes a lot <laughs> makes a lot of their laughing at me okay but um you want to make sure everything's kosher and not one of them's not getting really weak and you need a uh, special treatment or anything so with 120 of them you gotta watch carefully so i got chickens pecking at my feet okay hey got enough okay there's a loud one over here hey you want to say something camera's on you now. Do you want to say something? Looks mean, don't she? Say something. Let me tell you, shut up so you be louder. Okay. Go inside. See you in a bit. Hey, good news. I just found something else on, on this app. It has an alarm on it, so you can set the temperature for the low and the high, and it'll set an alarm if it goes too low. It'll set an alarm if it goes too high. But right now, we have 82.8 and 78 in the front. That's telling me I need to just cover the front up. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave an opening in the back. And if it gets too hot in the back, I'll leave a little bit bigger opening in the back. So... We'll do that. Cover this up for now. Okay, so I can sleep a little bit better. Um, I was gonna be getting up every hour to two hours, um, but it looks like I'm getting the pattern down right now, which will be good, plus the alarm it helps out a whole lot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, executive uh, action. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is already open a little bit since it is getting a little warmer. <clears throat> I'm going to keep it open like that, and we'll see how uh, how the temperature goes. So, there you go. Probably one more check-in with you guys, and I'll call this video a wrap. So, thanks for tuning in. Please hit the like button. If you see this and you forget, and you like the video, please hit the like button when you see that. That. Okay, it looks funny. Okay. Got to go. I'll see you one more time. Hey. About six hours later, um, a lot of stress, but uh, Sue is uh, up and uh, doing well. <laughs> a little bit of uh, sugar water here. I have the uh, heat lamp, one of the heat, another heat lamp, and she is doing very well. Um, the little bit of sugar water helped out get her some energy. Uh, she ate some food, and she's ready to go back with the rest of them. So, hey.
Okay. On that note, I'm not going to stress her out anymore. I'm going to put her back with the rest of her sisters, and I will uh, see you guys on the next video. Um, the next video you'll see probably will be a bike trailer uh, assembly dilly bob thing, and then maybe, uh, I don't know, I don't know. But next one's, I think, a bike assembly. Uh, it goes on my mountain bike. It's just a trailer to haul all my junk uh, for when I do some stealth missions coming up soon. So uh, after that assembly video, you'll probably see some stealth shortly. But she is ready to go. So I'll have to get out of here. Talk to you later. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Sit